Let's take a look at all the manga that I picked up in October of 2023. Sliding this one in at the very last moment of November, here is my October manga haul. And a quick note here, um, I, I think that this is everything that I picked up in October, but it's kind of hard to say because with Right Stuff shutting down, um, I don't any longer have, I'm supposed to, but I don't have access to my old account. Um, so I can't see all of my old orders. So I can't double check that I actually pulled everything out that I picked up uh, during the month. I, so I did my best. And if there's anything that I accidentally slid in here that I've already shown in a previous haul video, I apologize. I'm not trying to like inflate my haul or anything like that. Um, it, it just is what it is. Anyway, let's just get into it. Uh, as always, I'm gonna start with the publishers that I have the least amount of books from, going to the ones that I have the most amount of books from, and I'll give some commentary along the way. So first up, we've got from uh, Titan Manga, the first volume of Witch of Thistle Castle. This was a fun little uh, kind of fantasy book right there. Had some really great artwork in it as well. Uh, then from Drawn and Quarterly, we have uh, Yoshiharu Tsuge's uh, Nijishika. This was a good kind of uh, anthology story collection uh, with some short stories by this uh, master of the, the craft. He's a, a Gekiga creator and Drawn and Quarterly have been doing a lot of these collections of Tsuge's works. Uh, then we've got a few from Webtoon. First up is The God of High School Volume 1. This is long awaited to get a physical release and it finally came out recently. Uh, pretty fun first volume. I'd never read it before, so it was a fun, you know, just action-packed first volume. Nice experience there. I'll keep reading to see if I want to continue picking up the series though. Uh, and then two books from uh, Webtoon and DC Comics. The first one is uh, Batman Wayne Family Adventures Volume 2. This one is a ton of fun if you're a fan of the Bat Family characters, Batman, Nightwing, Robin, Red Robin, Red Hood, etc. All the Batgirls, Orphan, blah blah blah. Um, you're gonna love this. It's just fun little stories of them interacting with each other uh, more as a family than as superheroes. It's a lot of fun. And then Zatanna the Ripper. This one is uh, a cool little uh, kind of darker mystery series. Neither of them is actually uh, manga per se. They're both, I believe, by Western creators, but they're from Webtoon, so I wanted to include them here. Uh, then from Dark Horse, we got three books. First up, Cat Gamer Volume 3. This one's a ton of fun. Uh, if you enjoy cats or video games or both, you'll love it. Um, and then we've got uh, Tomahawk Angel Volume 1. This one has fantastic artwork. This is a Tapas series. So Tapas is another app similar to Webtoon if you're unfamiliar. Uh, this is by Odysseus Theodoratos uh, or Mangaka Odi as he's known online. I believe, I believe he, I'm not sure, uh, but I believe so. This one has beautiful artwork, great kind of just uh, monster filled uh, action series. And then we've got a big one, the final hardcover of Blade of the Immortal. This is volume 10. This wraps up this series in these deluxe edition hardcovers. Uh, and with this month, November, having brought the 14th uh, volume of Berserk, final one for a while, we're done with all the deluxe hardcovers until Trigun starts up, which Trigun's been getting delayed a lot, so there's no telling when that first volume is actually gonna come out. So let me move on to the next stack, which is going to be my Yen Press books. Be right back. All right, somewhat of a small stack from Yen Press this time. Uh, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that they usually send me a lot of those first volumes. And they, they sent me all of the October and November releases uh, towards the beginning of November. So those will be appearing next month, which trust me, it's better that I talk about them next month because I haven't had a chance to like read pretty much any of them yet um, since there was so many and I've had a lot of stuff to catch up on. But anyway, here's what we got from Yen Press this time. The second and final volume of Higurashi Go. Uh, this is the kind of spin-off of Higurashi. Uh, there was also a anthology volume. Technically that would be the third and final volume, but this is the main series. The anthology came out in this month, November. Uh, Case Study of Vanitas Volume 10. Uh, Coffee Moon Volume 4. I've been really enjoying this one. Uh, Kowloon Generic Romance. I've been really, this is like probably my favorite Yen Press title and one of my favorite ongoings right now. Just fantastic series. Um, she Loves to Cook, She Loves to Eat Volume 3. Uh, the Witch in the Night Will Survive. I really love the first volume of this one. Volume 2 was fine. Volume 3 is going to wrap it up and I'm hoping that it does so in a decent way. And then uh, 
for the kid I saw in my dreams hardcover volume 11 which I believe is the final volume of this one but I, I haven't started because I don't have this whole entire series I have like a few volumes of it so I haven't started reading that anyway that's all I have from Yen Press this time next month Yen Press might be my biggest publisher just because they sent me so much stuff um, at the beginning of November but we will see we'll see what happens there and hopefully they uh, send me December stuff on time so that I can talk about it in the uh, December Buyer's Guide video. Anyway, next stack is gonna be Seven Seas. All right, so from Seven Seas, we've got Skip and Loafer Volume 8, and then we've got Kageki Shoujo. This is Volume 10, I believe, of this one. Yes. Uh, the Great Snake's Bride Volume 2. First volume was very intriguing, so I'm excited to get to the second volume. Uh, Kimono Jihen Volume 8. I feel like they are churning this series out really quickly. Night of the Living Cat Volume 3. This is a fantastic series. It is a, a just fantastic blend of comedy and horror in the best ways possible. Uh, it's like a zombie apocalypse, but instead, uh, when you touch a cat, you turn into a cat. It, it's very funny, and the artwork is, is great. It, it has like the actual like horror manga type artwork that you would expect to see but in a more comedic setting, which makes it kind of in increases, the juxtaposition makes it funnier. Uh, Sword of the Demon Hunter Volume 3, uh, and a lot of those I hadn't gotten to reading yet, so I can't give much commentary. Uh, Yakuza Fiance Volume 5, the artwork in this one really ramped, like if you look at the first four covers compared to this one, the artwork really ramped up here. Uh, and this one's a really fun series. It's a, a Yakuza, romance so if you're into yakuza stuff definitely pick this one up i'm hoping this one gets uh animated at some point i haven't heard anything about it happening but if it does i think it's going to be a big hit uh polar bear cafe volume three this is either four or five volumes total i don't remember which and homunculus volume two this is the second out of five so we're almost at the halfway point of that one i guess um this was this was a great volume. The first, I, honestly, I preferred the first volume uh, uh, over this one, but still great progression of the story. It's my first time reading Homunculus, so good uh, experience thus far. Uh, all right, let's move on to the second to last stack, which is going to be my Kadansha books. Now these last two stacks are roughly the same size, um, so no, their Kadansha and Viz kind of tied this time. Um, anyway, so at the top we got Go Go Loser Ranger Volume Seven, fantastic series, especially if you're a fan of like Super Sentai stuff. Um, Nina and the Starry Bride, or Nina the Starry Bride, sorry. Uh, this is a new Jose title coming from Kadansha, and I really love the first volume. It was a lot of fun. If you're into uh, fantasy romance, you're definitely going to want to grab that one. Uh, the Tsugumi Project Volume Three complete turn uh if you're into violent action and monsters and stuff like that this is definitely going to be for you definitely check it out uh next up blue lock volume volume nine this one is as good as it's ever been um i haven't read this one yet i haven't read the next couple actually yet uh saving eighty thousand gold in another world uh for my retirement forgot the whole title volume three First two volumes were, were good. This is gonna be my decider of whether I wanna stick with the series long-term or not, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Witch Hat Atelier Kitchen, volume one, the spin-off series from the main Witch Hat Atelier. This one focuses on the adults and they cook stuff in the kitchen. Uh, haven't read that one yet, like I said, uh, but I'll hopefully get to it like today. Uh, then, this one I just finished up, Ogami-san Can't Keep It In Volume 1. This one's a ton of fun. It's a kind of a romantic comedy series uh, with a girl who uh, is really into like smutty novels and stuff. And so she has a lot of like kind of dirty-ish thoughts, but like the type of dirty thoughts that you know you have when you're younger. It's not like super duper extreme. And her classmate has this weird uh, ability, I guess, where whenever someone touches him, they blurt out whatever they're thinking. So she winds up touching him and blurting out some like semi-perverse thoughts. Sometimes it's just like, your eyelashes are really sexy or something like that. And he's just like, okay. So it's, you know, he he's not really able to make friends very easily. And so this is like them becoming friends and stuff like that. And uh, it's cute. It, it's funny. It's cute. I enjoyed it. Um, Something's Wrong With Us, volume 17. I believe the next volume is the final of this series. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins, Omnibus, volume, what is this, 12. 
I think we have two more of these to go before that series is done. And then Parasite, the full color hardcover edition, volume four, this one is halfway done. Uh, we got four more of those hardcovers to come out. And these are beautiful if you're a fan of Parasite. Uh, this is a great addition to pick it up in. All right, moving into the final stack, which is gonna be Viz Media, but very quickly, I'm gonna give a word from the sponsor of this video is uh, Walt's Comic Shop. Now, I get all of my books from, uh, I used to shop uh, at, at uh, right, right Stuff for all of my manga, but now I'm switching over to getting some of it over at the Crunchyroll store, but I get a lot of my stuff over at InStockTrades.com. Point being, we have a lot of great options here in the US where you can buy your comics, your manga, etc., for really good prices. But if you're in the EU, you might not have as many options. Walt's Comic Shop is a fantastic one to go look at. They have a great wide selection of not just manga and manhwa and all of that, but also comics. So if you want to dip your toes into Western comics, Waltz is a great place to do that for y'all who are in the EU. Now they have a brick and mortar store located in Berlin, Germany. So if you want to pop in and say hello to them, you can and tell them that the Omnibus Collector sent you. Uh, but they also offer shipping all over the EU. And if you make your first order with them of 40 euro or more, you can use code the Omnibus Collector to get free shipping. So within the EU that is. So make an order with them. The Omnibus Collector code will get you free shipping for your first order of 40 euro or more. Um, check out all their selection, check out their prices, their pre-orders, all that good stuff. And they have fantastic reviews uh, across the board for great service, great packaging, all of that stuff. So check out waltzcomicshop.com. Now, moving over to the last stack of books, we have stuff from Viz Media. Let's check out what I've got. Okay, so at the top of the stack, we got some stuff from the Shonen Jump line, uh, Spy Family Volume 10, and we've got Undead Unluck Volume 13. I know the anime started on that one recently, and it looks like people are enjoying it pretty well. Mission Yozakura Family Volume 7. This one I know is moving into like the final arc, or has moved into the final arc, so um, we're pretty far behind with the physical releases in English though, so it'll be a little while before we finish it. And then Twin Star Exorcist, this is Volume 29. Uh, then I've got one from the Shonen Sunday line, Free Run. This one, the anime also started up and I know a lot of people are loving it. I'm really happy about that because it's such a great series. And volume four of Love's Insight. This is another cute little rom-com series. Now some stuff from the signature line. We've got Asadora volume seven. Is that? Yeah, seven from Naoki Urasawa. So if you recently watched the Pluto anime on Netflix and you enjoyed that, you can pick up Asadora. Or maybe you're a fan of his other works like Monster 20th Century Boys. This one is great. It is a kaiju series and this volume really ramped up with the kaiju related material. Uh, speaking of things ramping up, Golden Kamui volume 30. This is the penultimate volume. Uh, so 31 comes out, I think, early next year in 2024 and I cannot wait because this is one of my absolute favorite manga of all time. I love Golden Kamui. It has a little bit of everything. It's got action, drama, adventure, a little bit of romance, a little bit of horror, a lot of comedy in there as well. Um, even a lot of gourmet stuff. There's a lot of food related content in there but it, the action is ramped up in volume 30 as we're getting towards that grand finale and I cannot wait to see how it all wraps up. Uh, then completely going in another direction, Boys Abyss Volume 3. This one is very dramatic and depressing, so be sure to be ready for that if you decide to pick it up. Uh, back to the action stuff though, Record of Ragnarok Volume 8. Uh, this one was a fun volume. We wrap up the fight with, um, with Jack the Ripper in this one, we have, uh, and then we start up the next fight, uh, which is pretty fun. If you've watched the anime adaptation, you already kind of know how some of that goes. Then, of course, we got one from Junji Ito. This is a new one from him, Mimi's Tales of Terror. Uh, it's got several stories in here that are based on Japanese urban legends and myths and stuff, so they're based on true stories, as they say. Um, Ito only provides the artwork in this one. They're not written by him. They're written by uh, Hirokatsu Kihara and Ichiro Nakayama didn't know their names off the top of my head, uh, but it's a fun book. It's uh, got some really great stories and Ito does a good job with the illustration. And I really like the design underneath the dust jacket. It is one of the few of these Ito books that comes with a dust jacket. So I thought I'd show you all that. And the final book for this uh, haul is the Full Metal Alchemist 20th Anniversary Volume. Uh, this one has a bunch of uh, just extra materials and extra manga pages in here. Um, some stuff that was released, uh, I believe, in 
conjunction with like the anime releases and it also has a lot of those uh four coma stories i'm trying to pull up some examples in here um of the four panel stuff come on sorry i'm i'm, I'm looking but yeah, some of those four coma panels and stuff. So it's a great addition to the, the FMA collection and it's the same uh, trim size and everything as the hardcover uh, volumes that they wrapped up somewhat recently. So this will go great on the shelf next to those if you have that collection. And that's it. I didn't have any older books. I don't think I had any anime that I picked up this month. If I did, I'm sorry. Like I just forgot because I can't check my orders, like I said, and I all of my anime came from right stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't think I got any anime. Um, I didn't get any figures this month and it was somewhat of a light month, all things considered, but November was a really heavy month as far as new releases go. So my November haul, which I know I say this every time, but I'm going to try and get it out before the end of the month. My November haul should be pretty fun and substantial. And I've been doing a lot of work to read through everything on my to read shelf right now. So hopefully by the time I do get to making that November haul, I'll be able to give a lot of like uh, direct commentary about those books. Anyway, so that's it. This was a quicker video than I usually have for these hauls. Thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, this was fun to see and, and maybe I was able to turn you on to a series that you didn't know about before, you've been curious about by giving a little bit of commentary here. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, please, uh, so you can go ahead and get notified for all the new videos that I put out roughly once a week. Uh, if you're not new here, you know how much I appreciate y'all checking in and spending time with me and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.